Congratulations. I see that your song No 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 has been playing leapfrog all the way up the charts with Celine Dion, no less, of the Titanic theme, and now you are with Boys to Men. I mean, you keep pretty impressive company, don't you? <laughs> Thank is, you. Is this Thank a surprise you. to you? I mean, does it seem real to you yet, or is it still something of a, a bit of a dream? It's it doesn't seem dream. real yet. Yeah. <laughs> Not yet. It's a dream come true, actually. Yeah. I think that we all knew deep down that our first single and our album would be successful, but once it started happening and people actually start, I want that Destiny Child City, I like Destiny Child, <laughs> we're like, oh my God, because we just sure? recently went to Great America and there were like groups of people around us asking for our autographs and we're like, oh my God, this is not happening to us. <laughs> people are not running up to us asking us for our autographs. Well, I was sort of relieved to hear you answer that first question because I actually understood what you said. And I was thinking to myself, here I am from Britain, you're from Houston. I thought we were going to need a translator. Or <laughs> well, maybe we could run subtitles. We are not like the <laughs> yeah. 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 Don't you start think, doing that to me. <laughs> everybody thinks that since from Texas, you're supposed to wear the cowboy yeah. hat with the boots. Cowboy <laughs> boots and have a little hay like coming that. out your mouth. That's yeah. not yeah. us. Yeah. <laughs> Even well, though we can get a little country. We can get country. Well, to hear that. Watch some of the words. You might not be able to understand. Look, there are lots of ways in which you are obviously very much alike, but let's start off by maybe having you introduce yourselves and tell me maybe a little bit what makes you different from the others. Kelly, why don't you kick it off? Yeah, I mean, I've introduced you, but introduce yourself again. Okay, um, Kelly, mm -hmm. and I guess what differs me from the rest of the girls is my Sensitiveness. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I saw I'm, that, and I really said to you, "How? How does yeah, that express itself?" I'm really sensitive. I'm really mushy. Like <laughs> we'll be putting away, away groceries, excuse me, and I'll be like, "Gosh, I love you guys," and I'll be like, "Oh, <laughs> Kelly, Kelly." <laughs> you always have to have a moment like that, you know, just to let them know and reassure mm -hmm. them. You know, you guys mean a lot to me. You know, I love you guys, and also the fact that I'm the second lead vocalist of the group, mm -hmm. and that's about mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I'm with Tavia. Um, I sing the bottom, and I'm also the spokesperson of the group. And I guess I'm what everyone calls the diva, <laughs> Miss Sassy Lassie. <laughs> Actually, um, I noticed that you you're a Scorpio. Yes. And I'm not even going to attempt the, the way you would say it, but the one that's real with you. Yeah, yeah I, you okay. know, I keep it real. Yeah. Yeah. If, you know, now Scorpios can sting as well, can't they? How does that yeah, show up in can. the group? I mean. How do you sort of influence what happens in the group? She doesn't let nobody talk to us crazy. Right. I mean, you know, I say I'm real with you. If someone does something like they say something that's completely out of line, I'll be like, hey, why you say that? It was uncalled for. You need to go. This is, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm not a mean person at all. No. I, think, I think that people expect me to be mean because I'm a Scorpio. But actually, I'm kind of sensitive, y'all. On the real. Yeah, she'll she really sometimes she burns when she knows she really <laughs> sensitive. Hi, I'm Latoya and I'm the crazy soprano of the group. I'm the one that keeps everybody yeah. laughing. There's never a dull moment. Yeah. Yeah, I noted that and it said crazy and I thought, you know, we've got a song title there, tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll just I, I'm very hyper, very energetic. <laughs> There's always something to laugh about when I'm around. I'm the stank one. But they are all crazy, so they cannot even front. And why are you hitting me on it? <laughs> no, they are, all, they are all crazy. Once it gets late, we all start going a little bonkers. <laughs> like me and Latoya had a concert on the bus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we I've had all kind that. of music playing. Yeah. We were just dancing. We, had, we, were all we, like had, we don't need to go to parties a lot anymore, so we had our own We made our own party. party. Too. It was a DCP. <laughs> and my mom was like, y'all need to go sit down somewhere and yeah. go to sleep. <laughs> so it was climbing from bunk to bunk, just <laughs> jumping everywhere. I went to the down. front, and I looked back, LaToya was hanging like <laughs> I was like, oh, oh my God. God. 
Spider-Woman. Check it out in the second video. By <laughs> process of elimination, you obviously are Beyonce, which I did know. Uh, you are a Virgo, so you have my deepest sympathy. I'm one too, which means you're probably a perfectionist and yes, you're probably an organizer, and those are not always easy or popular things to be. Are you also the, so like the mother figure of the group? Yes. Uh, I figured. Yes, I am. Um, whenever something is needs to be something needs to be done, I'm the one to say, "Come on, y'all, we gotta do this, we gotta do that." Just try to keep everything together, and I am very much so a perfectionist. Too much, <laughs> too much of a perfectionist sometimes. I know the feeling. I have to work on that. <laughs> okay, now now we know who everybody is. Let's. I want to come back to the, the, the CD in a minute, but let's start off at the beginning. You formed the group Beyonce and Latavia, formed the group in 1990. At that time, was it anything other than just a couple of kids having fun? I mean, oh. did you, when you started at that, that young age, how old were you? Ten? Did you have we any, were any actually, idea? what, eight, eight? Nine, 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 around there. Did you have any idea that you actually were going to take it really seriously right from the word go, or was it just fun? It was fun. It was fun. But we really were serious. I mean, we made it fun at the same time. But we were very, very serious because even before we were singing together, Latavi was singing <laughs> at her at her house on the fireplace, and mm -hmm. I was singing in competitions, and we were really serious about it. And we met each other in the auditions, and we were very serious about it. We performed every week, and it was fun, but mm -hmm. at the same time serious. And how did you grab the other two and get them involved? Um, I met Kelly in 92 mm -hmm. in elementary school and I went over her house and we were playing Barbies in the closet and I heard her singing I'm your baby tonight by Whitney Houston and I was like oh my god you can sing girl <laughs> I was like you gotta come try for our group so after Kelly went to the trial she joined the group and Beyonce knew Latoya from elementary school and Girl Scouts and um, <laughs> they were singing together and they were both Pinocchio in a play on different nights and Beyonce asked Latoya to try for the group and she joined and we've been singing together now for us. It'll be seven years on July 4th. Yeah. Right. It's amazing. It does actually account for the, the very great sound that you've got, but we'll come to that in a minute. Thank you. What Thank puzzles you. me is, well not puzzles me, interests me, is where were your families in all this? I mean, if most teenagers that I know go to their parents and say, hey, mom, I'm going to travel around North America wearing <laughs> sleepy dresses and singing <laughs> songs, and they're going to say, yeah, like, that's really going to happen. So how did this all come? I mean, were they supportive from the word go, or did they need a little bit of convincing? Our parents are very supportive mm -hmm. and they're very involved. Beyonce's father is the manager. Beyonce's mom is the hairstylist and clothing stylist. So the slinky, our parents don't no, think we dress we don't slinky or anything. Go and anything. buy something yeah, and I let our them Our parents see it. are there, and my mom's my mom is a chaperone. She's with us all the time. And Kelly's mom and Latoya's mom, they help with the tours, help us get dressed and everything. So it becomes so, a family event. You know? Exactly. Yeah. It's, yeah. I mean, it's a family affair. All of our parents are very supportive. They have no problems with the way that we dress or anything. I, I, they have the say so. Exactly. If we want to, and that's you know. what counts. Yeah. So yeah. If the parents say that we can yeah, wear, there's an object involved. lesson out there. I think. Um, when you were on Star Search, you stated they made us do a rap song, although we wanted to sing. Have you now got to the point where people can no longer tell you what you're going to do? I mean, have you got enough now clout to say, hey, no, this is what we're going to do? I think no, you never have enough clout, yeah. clout mm -hmm. to say that. But <clears throat> I mean, we we have enough clout to. To, to say if we're not going to... Yeah, we do. Good. I'm sorry. I was just thinking about it. Yeah, we do. Yeah. I mean... Well, maybe that's a revelation to you. Now, people <laughs> the but we know how to do it, though. We, we, are, we, don't, it's right. not, we don't want to be divas. Yeah, and like, yeah. I'm not doing I'm that. Not yeah, doing we know that. how to say it. We aren't going to say, look, we're not doing that. You're going to do it our way. It's like we know yeah. who we are. And if anybody tries to have us be something that we're not, for ourselves, we don't do that. I mean, yeah. like if they had us singing something sexual or something inappropriate for us, our age, we won't we sing. We know how to play and say, no, that's not our vibe. And if it's some curse words or something right. that we don't want to be, right. then we don't sing that. Exactly. And if somebody tried to have us rap or something like that, we'll do that because, you know, it that's fits. fine. It but fit, yeah. anything well, that doesn't fit our boundaries and fit what we have, and, you know, if it goes out of our boundaries, then we won't. But everyone okay. that we worked with, excuse me, I'm sorry, has <laughs> been really open. And allowed us to get input. Okay, yeah. cool. I think that's where it should be. I mean, yeah. you are, after all, the people who've got to get out there and do it. But Kelly, you said something interesting. You talked about, as a developing group, having some major disappointments which made you stronger. What, what sort of thing did you have in mind when you said that? Um, 
I think when we did Star Search, that made us a lot stronger. I mean, yeah, we lost, but that was also a turning point in our career where we regrouped and Latoya came in the group. We got new management and we got more serious. Our manager started us on this development camp where we woke up in the morning, went jogging, had voice lessons, practice all day, and it was just to make us stronger and also to prepare us for the future. So that was one of our main, main turning points. Good. Well, that brings us to a good point. I want you, the camera, to get a good shot of this. This is your CD, Destiny's Child. What a cute title. <laughs> I, I, I thought about this one. I knew I was going to come up and do this interview. I think sitting there to myself thinking, I'm old and they're young and I'm English and they're American and I'm from a small C conservative family and you're from a very different background. Where's, where's this going to match? And then I got this and I listened to it. And I'm going to take a few seconds to rave about this because I think you'd either have to be the Grinch who stole Christmas or dead not to enjoy this CD. Thank it is, thank it you. is really great. I mean, it, for those who don't know, if you haven't got this, go out and get it because it's got great balance. It's got very toe-tapping tunes, it's got great arrangements, a beautiful arrangement of the old classic Sail On and so on. It's just a great, great CD, um, which made me think that, thinking this thing about, you know, different backgrounds, I looked for what was the common theme between my growing up and your growing up, and it seems to me that you've hit it right on the head. I remember growing up this sort of angst over young love, and every one of your songs seems to talk about love. So it seems only appropriate to ask you, are any of you in love right now? What are we working on? Now you said before that you have boyfriends. No. We're in love with our family. Right. We're in love with most of our... We're and with each other. We have yeah. each other. Yeah. Right. But we sing about love because, like you said, the common thing, anyone can relate to love. Everyone has lost a loved one. You know, it could be like a three-year-old kid who lost a dog or anything. They can, they can relate to it. Everyone can relate to love. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, love, it doesn't like necessarily have to, have to be, be a love. guy. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't part. necessarily have to be a guy yeah. or or a woman. Oh, well, now just a second. What's this about? You know, come and get my love right now. I want to love you as much as you love me. That's isn't that the lyric from No No No? What's that general effect? You know, hey boy, I'm ready for you now. Come and get my love. <laughs> no, it's like, oh, oh ready come to get yeah. love. It's all here for you. Yeah. Oh, I'm ready yeah. to be. Okay. It's like I'm yeah. ready to be committed to you because the yeah. song is about a guy who's saying no. He's fronting when he's in front of his friends. Like, ah man, you know. I don't want to be around her, but he really, really likes you. Yeah. And you're saying that I'm here. I got my love out on the table. I'm ready to be, you know, what you want in a relationship. It's all here for you, so, you know, come and get it. But if you fronting when you know you really want it, then... And we're hip to the game, too. Yeah. We've had relationships right. before, so we know so how it to feels <laughs> to be in love. I mean, yeah. we aren't totally clueless in that area. <laughs> Good. I'm pleased to hear that. Now, let's, let's deal with something which we, we can't avoid talking about because it is so much a part of your um, liner notes and, and your autographs. And this is your very um, predominant Christian background. But I notice that you've chosen to go the more um, mainstream route. Is that, I mean, what guy did that choice? It's just us. Yeah. We just, I mean, what you see is what you get. And mm -hmm. we didn't really plan out how we wanted to come out and how our songs wanted to come. I mean, we wanted to make sure that the album was diverse. Yeah. And we wanted to make sure that everybody can relate to us. Yeah. And we, I mean, we just, we recorded 33 songs to get the 12 that are on the album. And we picked out the best. And that, how it, how it came out, that's just us. It's us. We were just ourselves with our clothes, with our image, with our singing, with everything. We just give you us. Mm -hmm. Time is pressing and we've got a definite time limit on this. So there are a couple of other areas I'd like to, to touch on very briefly. Um, the first thing that crossed my mind listening to the album, as I said, I really, really enjoyed it. And there was a lot of um, very sophisticated um, effects on there, you know, like reverb and all the rest of it. How Are you able to capture that? effectively in a stage performance or is your stage performance very different from what people might hear if they buy your CD? It's the same I think it's the same. Mm -hmm. I think actually the stage performance it's is better, better. Yeah. because you can really see us do it and it's dance. And you can feel it. It's entertainment and whatever we have to do to get the audience into it, we're willing mm -hmm. to do it as long as we stay with the boundaries. boundaries. <laughs> yeah. In the boundaries. But the stage performance is actually better. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing that. The um, song, My Time Has Come, you sing that it's too far, it's too fast, it won't last. 
does it sometimes feel a little like that for the group at, this, at the moment, or is, is everything totally under control as well? I mean, I know the song goes on in a very positive mode, but it did occur to me that maybe the way things happen in this business, maybe that could echo some of your feelings from time to time. When we first started out, there were a lot of people, because it took us, what, four years to get a record deal, mm -hmm. and then two years to record that record the album after we got the record deal. There were a lot of people like at school saying, oh, y'all been doing this for so long. Y'all not gonna ever get a record deal. When are y'all gonna come out? Yeah, I haven't heard y'all's little CD yet, you know. So that song, yeah, like, when we heard that been. song, it was appropriate because we could, you know, like justify that. We, we knew, you know, that was exactly what happened to us. People said that, but we knew in our hearts that if we stuck with it and if we worked really, really hard, mm -hmm. that our time would come. Mm -hmm. And our time came, our single came out, our single went gold, our single went platinum. Our album came out, it's gold in Canada, it's on its way to gold in the States. Everything is just happening slowly for us and it's not happening too fast. Mm -hmm. But our time is slowly coming and we really give all thanks and praises to God yeah, because right. we know, you know, we kept our faith in God the whole six years and he's got us this far and we know that he'll take us further. I think you just said something there which I, I notice every time I talk to groups that, who seem to have arrived very suddenly, you know, they seem to be overnight successes. I don't think people realize, particularly when you're as young as you are. I mean, they always wonder what, he's 18 at the moment? I always wonder. Uh, around, around there. Around, around there. there. Around, <laughs> around, well, I mean, a lot of people, uh, and I, I raise it because a lot of people would say 18 more, and we really, what do they know? But you've been working at this, as you say, for six years, and the, the result's definitely sharp. It's a very sophisticated sound. Last question, it's the inevitable question, I suppose, is where do you go from here? And I don't mean to coma, because I know that, but where are you going as a group? You've got more, another album planned? I mean, what's in the next 12 months <coughs> for you? Right now, we're concentrating on this album mm -hmm. because it's only been out a couple of months. Um, but we're on the Boys to Men tour, and after we get off of the tour, we go to Europe. As a matter of fact, we go to Europe in a week. Yeah. And then go back on the tour. Then go back on the tour, and then we go back to Europe, back to Japan, possibly to Africa. Um, <clears throat> then we'll start recording our second album, which we plan on producing a lot more on, and we plan on writing more. Of our videos and producing more of our videos. One day we want to have our own record company, all four of us together, and have our own artists and, and help some other artists out like Clef helped us out and like Jermaine Dupri helped us out because we have to, you know, do the same thing they did for us. Well, exactly, as Boys to Men are doing, in fact. Boys yes. to Men. Yes. 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 We could be here all day. SWV. There's so many artists that yeah. have inspired us and, you know, gave us a lot of words of wisdom and we do nothing but thank them. And we also want to follow on, you know, what they did for us. Well, we want to thank you for taking time out of a very busy day. And thank uh, you. Thank you. Have a have wonderful have concert tonight. Thank and, uh, you. Thank come you. back and see us again. We and this time, take a look at the city because it's worth taking a look. We will. We will. Yeah, before we go, we just want to thank everybody out there for helping us in this right. go goal. And please keep supporting us. And please keep us in your prayers. And, and please pick up the album. If you don't have it, pick it up. Pick up the one. That one right there. Stay tuned.